So, let's try that again uh, with audible sound. That was the challenge for tonight. See, could you understand what he was saying by reading his lips? Hello, all. Good evening. Happy Saturday. <laughs> can I get a one, two? One, two. Can you hear me? Uh, anyway, so as I was saying, we're on the ground here over in a place called Knock Airport, uh, which is over in County Mayo, also known as Ireland West, uh, or I think Connacht Airport here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're going to be having a look around the west of Ireland. Um, just bad because it's Saturday night and I got, kind of got all my stuff done and I said, eh, might do a stream. So we're here. <laughs> all lights and no action. Anyway, hello all. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Uh, we have a new plane to play with tonight as well. So we must have a look. Ma Walsh is here, good evening to you, as is Kendra. Daniel M over on Twitch, good evening and welcome aboard. Christian is here as well, as is the Colonel Fork. How's it going, Colonel? As Drew has just subscribed. Many thanks, my dude. Uh, Burned is here as well, is uh, Ben McClure. Happy Saturday, my dudes. Killian is here as well. Mold Junction. You all went nuts saying there's no sound, Murph. <laughs> it could have been worse. That was like, you know, easy listening. Or no, that was, that was hard listening. Easy listening is when you can hear me. Anyway, let's see what happens. We are using real world weather uh, for Ireland. Now, you know, it's night time here now, but it was kind of like this during the day. It was really nice out. Walter says, gee, which? Good evening to you, my friend. Gabriel Dillon is here as well. Says, I didn't realize you were streaming. Neither did I. <laughs> and then it just kind of happened. Uh, Simon Murray is here as well. Uh, Liam Kearns is here. Where are we flying? So we're going to take off here from Knock Airport. We're just going to kind of meander around the west of Ireland. Gonna head down to kind of Galway and then turn right uh, and go on up the coast. Check out kind of Westport, Belmullet, come back in by Sligo uh, and then ramble back down to Knock Airport. Ben McClure says 150 days until Pancake Tuesday. Because seemingly that's a thing now. Ah, tasty beverage. Daniel M says, how was the museum at Shannon? Uh, it was brilliant. So I went down to the Atlantic Adventure, or Atlantic Air Adventure, below in Shannon. It's uh, near enough to Shannon Airport. Uh, I was down there earlier on with the young fella, and uh, we had to go at the Boeing 737 simulator. So it's a full-sized uh, sim. It wouldn't be level D, as in there's no motion, but it's, a, it's, it's an original 737 uh, flight deck. And they've all the stuff kind of modelled in, and uh, they, they're you know they're running P3D for the visuals, and there's like three or four other systems they use to make everything work. Uh, it's very good. It's I have to say, uh, the scenery looked like it was that of kind of Orbex, kind of their um, their not the true Earth, but you know like when they did their kind of country packs. Uh, but it looked very very good, and uh, the staff down there they're they're all really really nice. They have a fantastic uh, collection now of well stuff. Uh, but most notably, they have uh, a number of aircraft down there. They have an old Cessna 337. That's the one with the prop on the front and the back. Uh, they have a PA-28. What else? They got a new Cessna uh, donated from the Irish Air Corps. Uh, Cessna number 210. Uh, that's a new addition. Uh, they have a... I was going to say Vampire, but they're they're kind of up from the Vampire. They were like a modded version of the de Havilland Vampire. Pretty cool. And... Um, yeah, I have to say it was uh, it was very very good. Had a had a quick flight in the sim, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it. So uh, flight sim mad all of a sudden, and uh, been getting kind of great enjoyment out of Microsoft Flight Sim, as I hope all you guys are as well. So we shall see uh, who else came in. Master Gamer is here. As is Nolan. Good evening, Nolan. How are you doing? David Shanahan is here as well. So um, our new plane, as I said, we have a new toy. Which is this. As the uh, graphics kind of render in. I love this thing. Uh, this was my absolute go-to aircraft back in the world of X-Plane 11. I absolutely loved it. Uh, only because it's relatively straightforward. It's kind of simple. 
it's not the most sophisticated. It looks really well. It's fast, it has a good L range, it has a retractable landing gear. Uh, the old GTN 750 from Reality Expansion kind of clipped just right in there. Uh, and I really liked it, I really enjoyed it. And it's now after being released here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, you can get it there on the marketplace. It's not without, it's kind of one or two, that's kind of annoying, but um, give it time and I hope they'll fix it. So uh, our tail number for today, Echo India Mike Oscar Golf, uh, is a tip of the hat and a, uh, well, a salute and a cheers and a slancha to Mark O'Gorman, one of our viewers. Uh, I believe it's his birthday today. And Kendra said, Murph, you wouldn't mind terribly doing a flight somewhere out of Knock and heading west. It's Mark's birthday and we think he'd like it. So Mark, you can thank Kendra and I thank Kendra for giving me the idea uh, of our flight for this evening. So this aeroplane, uh, it's really nice. We have to do this with kind of a soundtrack. So the usual Carinado goodness applies with this airplane. Hang on, we hide me here for a second, because I can show you just pretty much how well this machine works. In actual fact, if I do this, there we go. And uh, if we slow down the camera, we can kind of do kind of a review kind of a thing on the fly. Did you like that on the fly? Yeah, that'll kind of do. So when it comes to eye candy, Carinado never failed to let people down. They really know how to make a good looking airplane. Uh, the sounds and some of the systems, perhaps, could be a little bit wanting. Uh, but it's still great to get new aircraft in the sim. Now, I'm sure we can debate this until kind of tomorrow to say, yeah, but like, you know, they're they're looking for the quick sale or whatever. But at the end of the day, this does look very good. And it's here and it's available and you can fly it. There's no one else doing stuff like that. So they are necessary. I would think. So if we look at the texture work and the modeling, the use of PBR and the reflections, like they're absolutely incredible. Like the levels of details you have in this sim versus any other sim, they're just amazing. Blacker Scheme One Niner is here. He says hello there. As is Ed Reed. Good evening to you, Ed. Happy Saturday, my dude. Jordan Walsh is here as well. Gordon has rambled in. So, I'm a big fan of how Carinado make their aircraft look, and I think this was originally released by Alabeo Studios, which is, I don't know, is it like a, a baby company or a sister company? But when it comes to modeling and how they make everything look, I mean, there's a lot of detail here. <laughs> yes, it's a study level walk around, but it wouldn't be far off it. Like, okay, you can't really interact with things, but in terms of how everything looks, uh, it's kind of bang on the money here. Doesn't it look pretty? Like even with the wing, right? Now I don't know, is that just a flight sim thing? But you can see all the little rivets and dimples and... You know, these things dent over the years. We'll check out the tailplane here as well. With the Mooney, uh, absolutely mad looking. It's kind of a leading edge uh, elevator. And rudder. Uh, they kind of lean forward, which is kind of cool looking. But again, it's just, uh, it's it's fantastic level of detail, I think. And what I really like about Microsoft Flight Sim is the custom tail numbers. Because uh, that is something you miss. And we can zoom in here. You can kind of see the detail yourselves. It's just fantastic. Joe Blow Photo is here as well. Good evening to you, Joe. Happy Saturday, my dude. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how everything looks on the outside. 
head over to the lights here in the wing. It's highly detailed. So I think we can all agree, uh, even the dudes, oh god we broke them, they're back. <laughs> it looks the part with its Macaulay three blade propeller. So let's jump inside shall we? So inside the machine here we have the normal array of this new Carinado tablet. Uh, basically you can just click on the center of the yoke and it brings this up so we'll zoom down to see what it has well it has static elements on tow bar will put that on as well we can hide the pilots we can open the doors and then you have what way you want your aircraft when you turn it on is it going to be cold and dark ready for taxi or ready for takeoff which is always really handy to have so we'll uh, pan around inside the machine here even with our doors open. So if you've, you know, if you've seen this in X-Plane, it just looks better on this. <laughs> Except for one thing, and I'm raging. Over in X-Plane, there was a way to mute the sound uh, or simulate that you're wearing headphones because, they, well, these are so loud. Uh, and it's kind of a Carinado thing that they're so loud. But you know, you can see the reflections here from the foot plate, the pedals, really fantastic modeling. The use of PBR, the reflections, everything, it's absolutely stunning. So if we shoot around to have a look at the back of the airplane as well. Like them seats just look very comfy. They kind of just say, hey, come have a sit down. We're very comfortable. So if you'll be sitting in this position, okay, yeah, the leather's starting to crack and there's a bit of dirt and grime. Like, look at the state of the carpet. I mean, it's real looking. <laughs> Two-tone Murphy, flight simulation, and we're talking about carpet. But look at it. It's fantastic. Uh, some of the switches back here don't work over on the Microsoft Flight Sim version, uh, and they do work over in the X-Plane version. But to be honest, you're not really going to be bothered to use the light switches and stuff. Or maybe you are, but, you know. Everything else pretty much works, though. You have controls for your windows, you can open up uh, or pull down the blinds. There's me back on. All the switches up here work. This guy up here works. Um, and as I said, you can open and close the doors rumble outside and then we have this cool kind of a Carinado new design for their um tow thingy majig yeah that's all new uh, and then you can open up the baggage compartment or back door and then even the chocks like everything just looks better everything looks better in microsoft flight sim uh, but it actually kind of does uh what do you guys think we shall see now once we get this machine started and uh, see how it all turns out. Uh, Cockney John says, good evening Murph. Do you know any good vids to show how to set up and use the flying cameras? Uh, Squirrel did a good video on that, Cockney John. Um, and again, it's, it's, it, it can be a little bit tedious, but once it's done, it's done. So first and foremost, you need to configure keys that control your save points with the camera. Uh, and then you have to go around physically move the camera to make it do what you want it to do. And as soon as you have that done, uh, well then it's done. Monkey is here as well. He says, happy Saturday, Murph. Kramer Airlines is here over on Twitch. He says, it looks amazing. Space Crawler is here as well. It says, it looks fantastic. It just does. Uh, you know, Carinado don't fail when it comes to how things look. If they were a makeup artist, they would work exclusively for me and no one else. <laughs> um, however, if I was going to be a singer in my singing career, well, we might have things to say. Um, and if there were like a physical trainer or a personal trainer, we'd have more things to say. But anyway, we shan't worry. So we're going to go ahead and uh, close some doors. And we're going to get this machine started up. We're going to taxi on out. Ah, Mark O'Gorman is here. Hello, Mark O'Gorman. I believe it's your birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, my dude. Ah, 
Ben McClure one says teleportation. Ben McClure, you have the you have the skill whereby you can multitask. You can use two hands, two feet, doing di different things at different times. I'm very impressed. So to start this machine, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot really. There's a battery switch down here, in which if I zoom in, there's the battery. There's the alternator. Go ahead and cancel this little warning light. We have lights up on top here, so we can turn on our nav and beacon lights. So we can hear the batteries kind of spool up here. Now what I do like is, uh, well, we have all these controls. We have our mixture, we have a prop, and we have our throttle, which is awesome. Uh, so we have our fuel tank selector currently on the left tank. We should be uh, full of gas here, which we are not. Why is that? I thought it said full fuel. The junk. Just like that, we have full fuel. So we have a left tank and a right tank. Um, and they do work. I, th I, th I thought it was a bug. I was flying it earlier on, but it does work. Um, also, the FPS. I was getting a bit of an FPS hit earlier, but uh, I seem to fix that. Six Knots is here as well. Good evening to you. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get this machine started up. So we have a fuel pump. And one thing I will say, the fuel pump sounds didn't work back in um, X-Plane. They work here. So fuel pumps are going grand. Turn our mags to both. Have a quick look around here to make sure there's no one here. Uh, we have our little window open. Clear prop. And uh, we'll go for start. So we have a good start in our engine. Make sure there's no warning lights. Avionics switch can come on here now as well. Got a little window closed. So everything looks kind of nice. We have lights over this side of the camp. Uh, we'll turn on our panel lights. Uh, the glare shield, we'll leave that off. Nintendo, Nintendon J is here. Nintendo, Nintendon. <laughs> Mark says, thanks, Murph. Uh, it's been a day and the Guinness is flowing. Cheers for the rest of the aircraft. So where are we flying tonight? We're heading out west. Uh, we're going to take off here from Knock. Uh, I'm going to head down to Galway. We'll then open it up to multiplayer. We're going to take off from Galway. We're going to head out to the west. We're going to head up by kind of Galway over to Mayo. We'll go over kind of Westport and Bell Mullet. Uh, before then, uh, or after then, we're going to turn right and come over Sligo, do a landing over Sligo there by Ben Bulban, and then head back down to Knock again. So it won't be a terribly long one, but I just said we'll just do a something. So we're going to do with something. Uh, so we're going to set up the autopilot. We're going to go for uh, 3,000 fleet. There's clouds there I need to keep an eye on. So we'll keep an eye on. We'll keep our eye on the clouds. Uh, transponder 7,000. And that's pretty much ready to go. Uh, it might be a little bit jittery, but... Uh, Hopefully it behaves itself. Uh, we can go ahead and get our recognition and taxi lights on. Leave our landing lights off for now. We're just going to taxi out to the active. And see how it all kind of turns out. What do y'all think about that? Yes. It's a plan. So, parking brake coming off. Let me know how the sounds are actually outside. Is it okay? It's not deafening you? We're just going to taxi out here. Paul Garrett says, Good morning from a wet, cold... No, from a wet, gold coast, Australia. It's 0630 in the morning. Good morning to you. Uh, Paul Garrett from Australia. How's it going, my dude? Colonel Fork says, Identifier for the first stop. So if we're going down to Galway, it's going to be Echo India Charlie Mike. Uh, actually, Murph, you could do this over here. So we're going to go to direct to mode. Uh, yes, please. And we're going to turn this guy on. So we're going to go echo. Echo, echo. Uh, no, that's not funny. Echo, India. Charlie. Come back to me. Uh, and Mike. Here we go. Galway. That's our first airport. That's where we're heading. Uh, D. D. D, D. Ah, 
Cool, okay. So GPS mode can be locked in on that. We'll continue our taxi here. Merlin Flyer is here as well. Sounds are spot on, says Gabriel. Christian says Galway. We're going to Galway. Uh, where's the parking brake, Murph? So, I'm using tow brakes at the moment, but if you scroll down here... Do, 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 do. Underneath your prop lever, you have parking brake. That's where they hit it. Uh, I do like the Moonies. And again, you have all these subtle little shakes here. I mean, you have the uh, the compass here just kind of rattling and shaking around. You look out on the wing here and it's kind of doing its thing, just bobbling around, just looking good. Oh, and we have this. Hang on. Hide my face. Check this out. Oh, yeah. We have spoilers. I could do that all day. Uh, and you also have uh, fuel tank indicators out on the wings. Stuart Payne is here. He says, bake and date night. Speed break. <laughs> Stuart, I saw your cooking pictures over on Discord. They look lovely. Stuart has really nice buns. Uh, but he does. He, he's cooking and they look nice. Did I go plane spotting in Shannon, says Daniel M. No, I didn't. Uh, there's very little kind of moving that neck of the woods, my dude. Um, but I was talking to one of the guys working in um, Atlantic Air Adventure. He's he's actually a mechanic with, uh, or an engineer with Lufthansa. Uh, and I was chatting to him for a bit. Really nice guy. Ah, okay, so uh, enough of my jibber jabber. It's time to get going. Uh, Stuart says I have the AFM and X-Plane 11. Yeah, the AFM ones, uh, they're pretty cool. This is now available on the uh, Flight Sim Marketplace. See, there's your fuel. And it actually works. They work. They're, they're readable and you can see what's in them. Uh, okay, I think we're ready to go. Forgot to turn on my strobe lights. But that's a rookie mistake and well, sure, look it. We're all used to me at this stage. Uh, so if you're ready, I'm ready. We want to centre our heading bug. We want to fly runway heading as we take off and uh, let's see what this machine can do here are you guys ready? I hope so I'm kinda ready uh, so let's punch it so it does sound really good you just gotta turn it down a smidgen so airspeed is alive keeping it here on the center line or approaching 60 knots you're looking for in and around kinda 75 to 80 knots to get this machine airborne there we have it. Sporty takeoff. Positive rate. Landing gear coming in. Touch our tow brakes. Stop the wheels from moving. Now you'll notice that we can climb at well over a thousand feet per minute here and the speed will just stay exactly where it is. Moonies are fast. So we're coming up over 300 feet. Bring our flaps back in. There's 1000. It all happens kind of fast, doesn't it? We got ourselves trimmed out here. Now we'll be coming back in this neck of the woods in a little while. So once I get myself trimmed out, I'm gonna go back down to the autopilot here. So we're gonna armor 3,000 feet. We're gonna go to come back here, you devil. We're gonna go to oh no, we're not. We're gonna go to VS mode. We're gonna stay at a thousand feet per minute on our climb because we can. It's fast. We're also gonna go heading mode and turn on the autopilot. So everything should be looking all fine and dandy for the moment. We continue on this heading. We're now going to make a left 90 degree turn. Down to heading 180. Which is there? So we should be looking good. Care 85 is here. Good evening to you.
It does look pretty, doesn't it? Now it is kind of loud, we know that, but it's all good. <laughs> Stuart says, Murph, I can't believe you didn't tell me this had dropped, and I thought we were friends. <laughs> Colonel Fork says, I'm en route to Galway in a banana. I mean, the bonanza. <laughs> Sean is here, he says, hi Murph. Yours is the only flight sim enjoyment I'm going to get tonight. After the update, my sim crashes the desktop when I go into general options. It was granted before the update. Uh, Sean, hit us up on Discord. Let's see if we can help you out there, my dude. Got Border Collies is here as well tonight. Good evening to you. Watch your speed there, Murph, you divil. So bring our prop speed back down. Manifold pressure can come down here a small bit as well. Mark Gorman says, so Murph, how was your day? And thanks to Mrs. Murphy for allowing a Saturday bonus. <laughs> day was good, Mark, day was good. Busy this morning, had plenty to do. Uh, we managed to get down to Shannon earlier on. Down to the Atlantic Air Adventure and the Shannon Aviation Museum. Highly, remec highly, remec highly recommend you guys check it out. The staff down there are really, really nice. They have a fully fledged Boeing 737-800 simulator. Not level D, but uh, it, it doesn't matter. It feels like it moves. <laughs> Paul Garrett says, Didn't the Mooney M20 hold some speed records in the early days? I think it did. It was the fastest commuter GA aircraft, or the fastest GA aircraft uh, for a good while. Six Knot says, just looking at the Mooney in the marketplace, looks very good. It does. Now, guys, there is one caveat, um, and it was the same with the 182 when they released it. The autopilot, it likes to do, you know, like a slalom around the magenta line if you go to nav mode. But it does behave itself on heading mode. But if you have it on nav mode and you're flying by GPS, it'll slalom or chicane around the magenta line, which is kind of annoying. Um, so just bear that in mind, but they will update it, like, they do update these, so fear not. Donald Miller is here, as is Flop Bunny 5852 How's it going? The flight is going well, so we've just taken off from Knock Airport, or Ireland West. Uh, we're going to head down to Galway. Once we get down to Galway, which is Echo India Charlie Mike, we'll open it up to multiplayer, uh, and then we're going to ramble over across to, uh, well, Mayo, uh, head up by kind of Bell Mullet Westport, cut across over to Sligo, and then back down to Knock again. So not a terribly long flight tonight, just a bit of Irish exploring into the west, which is always nice.
Michael Gorman says, great Murph. So what's your beverage for tonight? We have one of John Jemison's masterpieces. <laughs> Donald Miller says, what do you think of the Mooney other than the autopilot? Is it worth picking up? Uh, well, I'm a little bit biased only because I absolutely love the Mooney. It's just one of my favorite airplanes. I think it's good. Um, you know, it's it's the performance is fantastic. It flies really well. It's fast. It has a great range. It has a retractable landing gear. Um, it's it steam gauges. You know, with a GTN or a what are you actually? You're a five something, I think, are you? Yeah, a GNS five thirty thrown in for good measure. Uh, I just I really really like these airplanes. So you know. I recommend it. it. It would definitely get the Murphy seal of approval. Um, it's not going to be necessarily study level sim, but uh, for another option of a plane to check out some of the sites here in Microfloss, in Mi Microfloss? <laughs> Microsoft Flight Sim, uh, that is good. I highly recommend it. Uh, a phenomenal airplane. Now it is, it's, they need to do something with the sounds and the 182 has the same headache. And there's a little glitch. If you go to local time, uh, it's reading as 05, when it should be actually... That's PM. So it should be 1738. But apart from that, it's absolutely great. Red Hat 21 is now following. Many thanks, my dude. Ali Ashker is here. Good evening to you. GMAC. He says, hi, I just fixed the update. Nice. Bad Dog is here. Good evening to you, Bad Dog. He's a great dog. That's never going to get old. So I'll show you the, the headache with the uh, nav mode, shall I? Uh, come hither. So we're going to go into GPS mode. Now we're very close to Galway, but you'll see it here on the uh, on the GNS as we approach. So it will hug the magenta line, but then it kind of slaloms kind of above and below it. But apart from that, it's not bad. Now guys, don't forget the rules. The rules. Um, the rules for this evening, don't use any custom liveries or aircraft, only use what is available um, in the Microsoft Marketplace, if you know what I mean. Uh, so if you want to, by all means, bring a Mooney up, well then it should work. If you want to bring up the Cessna 182, it should work, um, because the, the files have been coded and they're kind of through the Marketplace. So just don't use anything that's um, going to be like third party or custom in terms of liveries, i.e. your paint schemes or any other aircraft that aren't officially released with the SIM. 
And that's only for multiplayer. It's just, whatever the issue is, my machine tends to uh, say, no, nah, no, nah, we're not doing it. <laughs> and it tends to stop. So, if you're okay with them rules, well then you're more than welcome to join us for our multiplayer flight. Joe Blow says, is there any way to keep level flight whilst increasing the speed? Uh, it depends. If you're an autopilot, yes, uh, the aircraft will recognise it. But the easiest way, if you're going to increase your speed, is you'll have to adjust your trim as well. Uh, so we're going to go off nav mode. <laughs> I didn't like that. And we're going to turn off our autopilot, because uh, we're over G -G -G Galway. So we're going to fly out over the Salt Hill neck of the woods and then come back in towards the airport. Mark O'Gorman says, Murph, can you do a Michael O'Leary impression? <laughs> Michael, eh... Uh, I'm one of these people now that's, that you're all going to start giving out to, but I actually like Michael O'Leary. Um, I like him because he knows exactly what to say and when to say it. And everyone likes to give out to him, for no particular reason, and the only reason people give out to him is because, well, they just don't like Ryanair. But if they want cheaper flights, and they want to use the best uh, airline, the, Europe's most popular airline, they're going to fly with Ryanair. Uh, and that's what he does. Do you think Microsoft Flight Sim will have liveries soon? There's a big licensing headache uh, that they're trying to deal with, that's why they haven't included them just yet. Okay, so we're gonna bring, gonna bring our speed back here. Because as I said, this machine is just super fast. And it's cool, like you have the uh, EGT sensor monitor gadget there as well. Which is always nice to have. Galway City looking nice there. Uh, we have, I think that's Orn Moor, and then into Galway proper over there. as we bring our altitude down a smidgen. Continue to bleed off some of our speed here as well. Master Gamer says, this is the only channel where I get to see my own country in flights in 2020, often because I don't have the game yet. Hmm. Guaranteed Irish. <laughs> Six Not says, I'm probably the last person to discover this, but just in case I'm not, if you press Alt GR and click on the PFD on some of the instruments, they'll pop out. Will they? Uh, Alt GR. Oh, look! You're a genius, Six Knots. I wasn't aware of that. And Murphy's gonna crash the plane. Oh, God, it turned out to be awful. <laughs> So your Alt G or key, which is usually on the right hand side of your space bar, uh, and you can see the way the cursor changes, if you notice down the bottom right. So we can do the same for your radios. That's really cool. I didn't know you can do that. Six knots. You are not the last one to know. In actual fact, I'd say you're one of the first to know on this channel. Well done to six knots. You genius! Boogly is here with all the emojis. Happy Saturday, my dude. I hope you're keeping well. Sure, Payne says I've not, I've not known that. Yeah, I'm the same. That's really handy, six knots. Many thanks, uh, because it would be fierce handy if you have a two monitor or a second monitor setup. Um. So you can kind of throw all your radio and GPS stuff over on the right hand side so you have, don't have to be constantly kind of looking down to see well, what's happening. Well done that man or person or, or lady man 
or well done six knots you shall remain a mystery in terms of gender for the moment we'll just call you six knots so we're looking for a runway here do 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 oh yeah there it is there look so we're gonna follow in the kind of the road Galway. Stone walls and the grass is green. <laughs> Stuart Payne says, Right, I've downloaded the Mooney, seeing as me mates couldn't tell me it's been released. I'm looking at you, Murph. <laughs> it's a rookie mistake, Stuart. Keen Lafford is here. Sorry I'm late, Headmaster Murph. I have a note. Good evening to you, Keen. Did you bring an apple? I suppose, Keen, the question on everyone's mind this evening, do you have a countdown to the Eurovision? Gotten says, use Space Desk. It's an Android app with Windows 10 server app. Mobile works as a second screen. Cool. Uh, you can also do, you can also do a Duet display for iPad. Six Knot says, discovered it by accident. The name is Kieran. Well, many thanks, Kieran. So we have the runway in sight. Want to bring our speed down here another smidgen. So we must put on our face cam for the dramatic effect. Go ahead and lower our landing gear. That'll add a little bit of drag. Go to first notch of flaps here as well. And we have speed brakes, which are cool. Uh, Torrent Fury is here. He says, does this use the Asobo GNS 530? Uh, yes. Only 240 days till Eurovision. Cool. Monkey says the landing gear noise was very cool. It really was. And the whole plane shakes uh, when you lower them. Now, we need to be careful because uh, your approach speed on these, you need to keep them somewhere between kind of 85 and 90. Otherwise, they just pretty much drop out of the sky. This aircraft is absolutely beautiful, says Ed. It is, it really is. And like, okay, it, it you know, it, it's gonna have a couple of flaws here and there. Of course it is. But I, st I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> so we're at 100 knots. We're a little bit high, we're gonna use the pappies. They're the lights just to the left of the runway. You may or may not be able to see them on the screen, but ideally we're looking for two white and two red. That's just a visual aid reference to let us know that we're on the glide path or the glide slope. And it's still a, a sim issue, Microsoft Flight Sim issue, whereby if you in, in, uh, disengage the autopilot, you lose your pitch trim, which is absolutely disastrous. It's another bug they need to squash, uh, but they will squash it soon enough. Second notch of flaps. As you approach into Galway Airport. There's two white, two red. So far, so good. Famous last words. Little bit high on the speed. Bring them back we're going to try and glide in here now uh this is the first time i'm landing this thing but let's see what we can do here let the speed bleed off there a little bit there's contact go ahead and get our little uh spoilers out because they look awesome 
Keep it on the center line there, Murph. There's a good lad. Cool. Welcome to Galway. Flaps coming back in. Bring our spoilers back as well. Ramble over here to the left-hand side. Go ahead, turn our strobes and landing lights off. Where's this field truck going? Stay where you are, stay where you are. We're just gonna ramble it over here with the cars. The squeaky noises of a chair. In the sim, that is. So, park and brake coming on. I'd get some lights turned off here now, so we don't need our taxi or recognition lights. They're all good to go. Transponder can go to off, uh, which it is. Avionics can now go to off. And we can turn our mags off. Mixer out. Mags off. Alternator off. Go ahead now and turn our position lights and beacon lights off. And then the battery. Sounds kind of good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. No Mooney in the world has a squeak in his chairs. <laughs> Philly Roach is here. Are we doing a group flight? Yes, yes we are. Mike G is in the house. Good evening. How are you? It's my favourite kind of cockpit, mixture of steam gauges and modern instruments, says Torrent Fury. I, I couldn't agree with you more. What machine are you flying, says King Lafford. This is the Caronado Mooney M20 Ovation. And it's real nice. Mike Callow is here. He says, still waiting for proper VNAV profiles in the garments. I agree. They're a little bit off at the moment. So, a group flight. We are in Echo India, Charlie Mike, Galway Airport. We're going to do a bit of VFR flying. We're going to head up around kind of the west of Galway. Then we're going to turn north up to Mayo. We'll fly over Westport and Bell Mullet and all that good stuff. We're then going to turn right following the coast. We're going to make a landing in Sligo, Echo India, Sierra Gulf. And then from there, we're going to come back down to Knock. So, let's see what happens here, shall we? Uh, so we ha have to press this button first. Main menu. Continue. And then we jump over here. Talk Cool One is here. He says, what is this aircraft? This is the Caronado Mooney M20. Uh, it's available now over on the Microsoft Marketplace in the sim. We're just taking us through its paces tonight. Um, and also, we're wishing Mark... O'Gorman, a very happy birthday. So if you go into the marketplace, official content, go down to aircraft, piston, and you'll see it there. The M20 or Ovation. How much does it cost? Uh, I think it's like 30 euro, I think. I think, you could be wrong. Um, but yeah. So we click back, and I click back, and I click back, and I click back again. Some background music there, Murph. Hmm. I like background music. That'll work. So how are you all doing on a Saturday night? Christian says it's twenty nine ninety nine euro. Stuart Payne says twenty six pounds. Great British pounds. Philip Breen is here. Didn't know you were on. I checked earlier and offline. Uh, I was. I only. I only jumped on there just after nine o'clock. Um. It's always the unplanned streams tend to be a bit of crack. I say that with caution. <laughs> In case everything breaks. 
I will say this though, I was down in Shannon earlier on, down at Atlantic Air Adventure, you guys should check it out. If you're in, uh, well if you're in Ireland, definitely check it out. They have a Boeing 737 simulator down there, and I'm absolutely bonkers to fly a 737. I was going to jump on an X-plane and do the Zebo mod, but then it said, look it, there's a Mooney available over in Microsoft Flight Sim. Let's fly that instead. Kristen says, so looking forward to the group flight. Was waiting for that one for weeks. Just remember guys, you're more than welcome to join us on the group flight. Just make sure you don't use any custom or third party liveries or aircraft. You're okay using the Caronado stuff because they're in the Microsoft store, uh, but don't use anything else. Otherwise it'll break. <laughs> and I'll cry and jump out that door. So we're going to take off from Echo India, Charlie, Mike, Galway. Uh, we're going to fly around Galway, head up to Mayo. From Mayo, we're going to head over to Sligo, which would be Echo India, Sierra, Gulf. And then make our way back down to Nock, which is Echo India, Kilo, November. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Echo India, Kilo, November. Benny P is here. Good evening, Murph. Nice to see you on this Saturday evening. And to you, Benny P. Happy Saturday, my dude. Donald Miller says, cool flight, I will pick up this one. Catch you the next time. You take care, Donald Miller. Bad Dog says, has it broke since the upgrade? Uh, no, it seems to be behaving itself. Oh, has the Zebo broken? Uh, ooh, I didn't check. We have Colonel Fork already on the ground. I like this music. Okay, flight conditions, we're going with the real world weather. Uh, we're not going with the real world time though. I'm gonna set the time to, uh, let's call it 1700 hours or 1600 hours UTC. Uh, weight and balance in the little airplane is going to be up here. ATC options is where Echo India, Mike Oscar Golf. That looks all good to me. Now, guys, as I said, just as a reminder, uh, no custom liveries, please. As I said, otherwise, uh, my system will break. So, multiplayer goes to all players. Traffic goes to off, uh, and then the server is the North Europe server. So let's see what happens. Fergal is here, he says, installing the plane now. Cool. Talk cool one says, may the wind always be at your back unless you are landing. <laughs> King Lafford says, any updates on Two-Tone Murphy's flying circuits of Big Egypt? Not yet. Uh, but uh, soon, we need to work on that. Sky Ranger is here. He says, hello from Germany. Good Nacht. How are you, Sky Ranger? You're very welcome. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Mike Callow says, I like what John Bishop said about Nock. It's like flying into an Asda. Dump, it says. Right, let's hope everything behaves itself. We can certainly hear a few planes. We're a little bit shaky, but I hope we're going to be okay. Don't crash, Sim. Black Rabbit is here as well. Can you put the route in the description for next time? Uh, it should be there already. Now, when I say it should be, it may not be. 
Uh, Master Gamer says, what PC would you recommend for Flight Sim 2020? Oof. Uh, I definitely recommend one of the new RTX 3000 series cards, ideally the 3080 if you can. Blow Tennis here says, I use a laptop. Uh, laptops just still give you a little something. Talk Cool One says, hello from Louisville, Kentucky. Home of the Kentucky Derby. Nice. Hello from Ireland. Okay, so we're going to get uh, ourselves started up here. Leave it on this time, Murph. Uh, let's see here now. So, nav and beacon on, please. Uh, recognition lights can come on here now as well. Turn you off, don't need to worry about it. Fuel, we're full. Left tank is selected. Get a prop turned on here now as well. Booster pump's coming on. Clear prop. There's a good start in the engine. Avionics now coming on. All looks good there. Get our flight directors turned on. There's some panel lightage on here as well. We're going to set for 3,000 feet. Go ahead and arm that. Uh, make sure our heading and barrow are all set, which they are. And that's kind of it for the moment. Fuel is doing fuel stuff. Uh, these guys will come alive now once I increase some RPMs. I'm going to go 7,000 into our squawk box. Eee, that was weird. Uh, but I do believe that was another plane probably loading in. Dagman Gaming is here. Hello, Dagman Gaming. Uh, so I'm going to taxi out of here because I think planes are trying to spawn where I am. <laughs> Run away! I've no Metar for Galway, but uh, essentially you want to take off from the far end, down here. <laughs> Dagman says, sorry I'm late. You're not late, my dude. Have some nice sessions here on the ramp as well. Uh, taxi lights on here, please, Murph. Uh, watch your speed there, dude. Uh, can I get out this way? Do, 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 do. Oh, look, there's another Mooney. Doesn't it look well? <laughs> Billy Roach. Oh, there's Moonies everywhere. Oh, they look so good, don't they? I mean, don't they just look savage? It's like the Mooney Aircraft Collectors Club. Hey, man, nice Mooney. Coley205 is here, and Stuart Payne says, that was me. Stuart, you're looking well. Uh, so we continue our taxi here. Going to put our landing and strobe lights on here now as well. Uh... Open the vents here as well. Not for any particular reason, just well as habit. Uh, that shouldn't be there, so we'll just ignore that. Do, 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 do. So I think the easiest way is just maybe line up behind the other aircraft, or are we waiting for everyone to depart? Because we could be here for a while. <laughs> so we'll just stop here just before we get onto the active. Go ahead, set our parking brake. Bring our RPMs up here. We can do a quick mag test to make sure everything's working. So we'll go to the left mag. There's a drop. Back to both. Bring it down to the right mag. There's a drop. Back to both. Go ahead and cycle the prop lever. That's the governor working. Boeing A370 is here. He says, hello. What aircraft are we in? Uh, this is the Carinado Mooney. Uh, all lights are on. Squawk is now on. Flight director, all that kind of good stuff is on here as well. Getting a little bit of chop, so I'm going to uh, keep her lit. Get ourselves onto the active runway here. With that, we'll pull out someone just taxiing. <laughs> uh, 
At the airport is Echo India Charlie Mike uh, in Galway, over in the west of Ireland. How are you doing? I hope you're well, says Boeing A370. Many thanks, my dude. Yeah, we're doing very well. Happy Saturday to you, my dude. Dara Rosny is here as well. Uh, what airport? We're in Galway. Cool. Someone's gone for a carbon cub? Or the X cub? Flight of the Moonies. Uh, I've just noticed we have a considerable amount of cloud cover here. <laughs> this is going to make things interesting. Uh, but we'll see. Little bit of chop, but uh, we'll try and avoid it. Uh, Yaki Boo here on Betsy. <laughs> Moonies and Cessnas everywhere. Hey, how's it going? Okay, quick check on things before we get going here. Uh, so we do have lights on, squawk is squawking, landing lights are all on, flaps go to one notch of flaps please. As we can check there, everything looks good. Uh, the frames are absolutely tanking only because of the amount of planes, but that's okay. Okay, time to buggy. Airspeed is very much alive now, passing 70 knots. Here's 80. Airborne. These things can go relatively steep. Positive rate gear coming up. Tap on our toe brakes. Bring our flaps in here as well because this plane just wants to get up and at them. Up and at them. Up and at them. Up and at them. So we're climbing at 1500 feet per minute and we're still gaining speed. <laughs> well, I don't know. As we have the N6 there, I think it is. Uh, coming out of Galway, heading back to Dublin. We're going to be turning right 90 degrees very shortly just try and get ourselves trimmed out here a little bit if we can jump down to our little autopilot we're going to go to heading mode we're going to activate that uh, 3000 is armed we're going to go to V speeds of a thousand. Whoa, not two and a half thousand, Murph. What are you trying to do to us? A thousand will do. So we're currently on heading mode. Now we're going to turn right 90 degrees. New heading, 180 degrees. We got fireflies. So we're saying 3,000 feet. Uh, this weather isn't going to get much better, I would think. Uh, God mode here, Murphy.
Give her shakes down. That looks a bit nicer. Okay, watch our speed here now because, uh, well, now Cessna's won't be able to keep up with us. So there's a couple of things to control in this aircraft. So we have our EGT over here on the right hand side. So your EGT is controlled with your mixture. So you got to use a bit of everything. So you use a bit of mixture control, a bit of prop control to keep your RPMs somewhat steady, and then your throttle controls your manifold pressure. So ideally, we want to land this at about 140, 50 knots. So guys, I'm going to make another right turn here at 90 degrees. Heading due west. 270. So we have a quick look at our VFR map here. So we're heading due west. We're gonna fly around the coast. Then we're gonna turn right heading north, head up the coast. Then we're gonna turn right here, heading east over to Sligo. So we're just doing a giant box around the west of Ireland. So it's all about speed. <laughs> Let's see, can we bring our speed down another little notch here? So we're currently at 3,000 feet. Indicated airspeed is 150 knots. RPM set to 2,300. Our mixture, we're gonna Bring it into the blue arc, or as close as we can to the blue arc. Aviation 17 is here, he says, Roses are red, this comment is bleak. I had a Toyota Camry doing Mac 4 last week. <laughs> Magnus says, is there an option to fly to Faroe Islands? Uh, not tonight, but soon. Boeing A370 says, I think this aircraft is one of the ones from the original FSX. Yeah, I think there was a Mooney on the uh, first one. Hello, TBM. And DA62. Jump into the back. Keep an eye on you two guys. How's it going? <laughs> 
So we have a load of Cessnas back, but don't worry. These Moonies are fast and very manoeuvrable. Alex Howard is here. Love the stream. Great aircraft, by the way. I'd love to get it. Keep up the good work. Many thanks, my dude. Now, one thing that will help the Cessnas. If the Cessnas want to get a lot closer and fly maybe over land, rather than out where we are. We'll take kind of a, a wider arc. That means we should all kind of hit Sligo at the same time. If you know what I mean. So, out our left window, we have County Clare and the Burren with the Kilfenora, which looks very nice. Okay, we'll start a bit of a right turn here. We're gonna go for heading 300. Don't forget guys, if you're new here, shameless plug. You might consider hitting the like button Pressing subscribe, or if you're over on Twitch, if you would like to follow the normal schedule, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Predominantly Microsoft Flight Sim, uh, but we're not forgetting about X-Plane 11 either. Might do a, a Boeing 737 flight sooner rather than later. <laughs> Fergal says, crashed in the sea. Fergal, did you park it in the sea? It's a rookie mistake, I hate to see it. The Buzz is here. Hello, Captain Murphy. Fergus says, <laughs> a roll went wrong.
A ghost that says, <laughs> there's a runway on the bottom of the ocean. Go in, it's grand. Monkey says, thanks for the surprise flight, Murph. Heading to bed. Have an early start. You take care, Monkey. We'll see you the next time, my dude. Uh, Jabaku says, is the Giants Causeway scenery modelled well in FS2020? It will be interesting to see it. Uh, if you jump back on YouTube, we flew up that neck of the woods already. Uh, it's not done terribly, but it's not done brilliantly either. It's just, well, it's there, you know? The bus says, what sort of roll? I'm starving. It was a hot chicken baguette. Cheers, I love a hot chicken baguette right now. Bit of cheese and lettuce. Maybe a bit of mayo. You wouldn't know your luck. So we have uh, Clifton over this neck of the woods here on the map. Used to go there as a young fella on me summer holliers. Many thanks for the subscribe, Augustine. You're very welcome along, my dude. I hope you're keeping well and uh, happy Saturday, man. Billy Road says, I'm up early tomorrow to barbecue some slow beef ribs. Eight hours falling off the bone. Oh. <laughs> I would not say no to a couple of barbecued ribs. Colin Doyle is here. Good evening. He says, hi Murph. A lovely part of the country. We're heading for the 12 pins, says Gabriel Dillon. So the 12 pins uh, are these guys. Over here. There's a lonely diamond out in his own. But it's looking nice. says, I need to say goodnight, have to work tomorrow, enjoy the evening, and thanks Murph. Kendra, you take care. Don't mention it. I'm happy to help out any way I can. Enjoy work, and take it easy. Jan Fjord says, where are you now Murph? Gonna try and join en route. If you go to an airport called Clifton, C-L-I-F-D-E-N, we're gonna be passing there relatively shortly. Philip Reed says, it's a great looking aircraft. It's absolutely amazing looking. Like credit is credit, credit where credit is due for Carinado. Yuval Handen says, is this aircraft payware? Yes, it is. Currently available on the Microsoft Flight Sim store, the in-game marketplace. Like, I know people are always gonna be yay or nay with Carinado. Don't get me wrong, at times it can be frustrating if some of the systems aren't updated and a couple of bugs don't get squashed. But I was a big fan of this Mooney back in X-Plane 11 and uh, it's 
I'm starting to be a big fan of it here now again. I think it's like 30 bucks. Scott Voigt is here. Good evening to you, Scott. He says, finally made it to the stream. Mooney, made in Texas. Well, that says a lot, Scott. They tend to make good things in Texas. BG Smalls is here. Good evening to you. Happy Saturday, my dude. Texas Won't Fly Boy is here as well. Paul Coleman says, I wish my default Bonanza worked in Microsoft Flight Sim. Scott says, uh, it was bought out by a Chinese company. They drove it into the ground. The company was just bought back by pilot owners and they're bringing the company back. For at least the first year, parts and then planes. Cool, yeah, like the Mooney goes, like, I think these were first like built back in the late 60s. And they use the Hershey wing design, if I'm correct in my assumptions. Now, speaking of stuff, we need to, there's an imbalance as we can see here in our fuel. So we're 43, 48. I don't like having more than an imbalance of five. So we're gonna go down here to our fuel, go to the right tank. So these do work. They're not just eye candy. <laughs> Dara Rossi says, I'm in that movie behind you, Murph. I hope I'm not distracting you. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Nicely done in the extra 330. Phenomenal barrel rolls. <laughs> That's dead looking. So, quick check of our map here. We're going to be turning right shortly, very shortly. Our new heading is going to be due north, 360 degrees. Come back, you devil. So, turning right now to 360 degrees. That's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Where to after Clifton says Colin. So we're going to head up by um, Mayo. Once we get to kind of Belmullet Westport, we're going to turn right, follow on the coast in towards Sligo. We'll do a landing at Sligo uh, and then go straight down back to Knock Airport. Uh, and that's when we'll call it a night. Not doing a particularly long one tonight. Well, we still got about an hour left. So we can home in on some of the systems here, see what it's doing. So it's giving us a fuel flow, the outside air temperature, our current vacuum, left fuel at 43 gallons, right fuel, which we're now on our right tank, is now 47. 
We can change some of the VDC details here, ampage at 13.4. Over to the next bar of instruments then, we have our engine dials, so we can see our RPM set to 2300. Manifold pressure, that's controlled by your throttle, currently sit sitting at 16. Our cylinder head temperature at 386, we're well within the green arc. Our EGT, or exhaust gas temperature, We're not going to get much better than 1387. We have then our oil pressure and temperature. So pressure is a little bit high, up at 56. But we're still in the green. And temperature, 196 Fahrenheit. Moving down, we have our standard six-pack. And then we also have some navigational dials here as well. We also have our... Um, Altitude Autopilot gadget. There is a name of this device. It's it's like a Bendix something or other. And uh, basically what it is, you can hit V speed, the little button. So that's your altitude setting, in which you select your altitude, hit arm, click on the little button to select your vertical speed, and then you can go up or down and engage it. Which is really cool. Over here we have another fuel flow and we also have a reader to see how much fuel to our destination, how many hours, all about your endurance and you can reset that and mess around with it. Underneath we have expandable but uh, usually cup holders, they're not modelled. We have our parking brake, cabin vent, cabin heat or our defrosters. We also have our alternative air or alternate static air. Uh, we have our flap switch. Over here we have our Bendix King, our KFC 150 autopilot panel. Everything from the flight directors, altitude mode, heading, nav, approach, back course, your autopilot master switch. And this, this controls your up down V speed reference. We then have our Bendix King communications. Our radios are here. We also have an ADF. Then we have the GNS 530 Garmin. Moving up then we have our comms panel. We can select all various communications. Uh, they do work, so for example, if we were monitoring or if we were listening to, so if we tuned our radio, say, to Shannon, we could be monitoring, say, I don't know, Aetis on the other one. And you'll actually hear both frequencies, but if you need to talk, it'll only transmit on COM1, which is really handy. Same with NAVs, DME and ADF. Uh, something might click there. And we're okay. <laughs> this switch is modelled, but it doesn't really do anything. It's basically like an isolation switch for your headset. So, pilot is going to be isolated, therefore you can't hear any other chatter if you had passengers with you. Uh, what was that, guys? So our RPM just took an absolute jump. Really strange. And our mixture took a bit of a jump. Hmm. Maybe I clicked into something. I don't know. Uh, so this monitors the exhaust gas temperature. Uh, and then we have all our fuses and whatnot. They're not modelled. We have our light controls here. We have our transponder. And uh, I think that's a DME. Also on the yoke, you have your floodlights little dial here. You can turn that on or off. And basically all that does, it will turn on or off these guys up here. They give you a bit more illumination. Uh, the blinds work, and you can see some of your performance charts up here. All your main lights. Oh look, all the lights turned off. No, they didn't. Some of them did, though. That was weird. Uh, our vent is on. Down here, we can turn on or off our oxygen, and we can put power into the lights. Turn them on or off.
So uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to kind of keep you busy inside in the plane. Uh, Colonel Ford says, Gremlins, my second G1000 went out. Ah, there's gremlins in the area. Chirpain says, happened in mine too, Murph. Okay, that's a, it is a server issue. That's quite okay. BG Small says, is it possible to get the iPad with the VF4 map on the yoke, like on the showcase picture? <coughs> Excuse me. They're working on it, so the iPad is here. And at the moment on the iPad, basically you have your kind of static elements and exterior stuff and then you have an aircraft state. They will be adding to this. I do believe they're gonna have a moving map. Someone is working on the old AVI integration uh, that we have over an X-Plane. So give that a bit of time as well. Okay, Joel says, there's something on the wing. So, they. Or words to that effect. says, just watch your video, Murph, uh, when you navigate it to the south of Spain and Gibraltar. I'm wondering, will you be paying a visit to Faro and the Algarve region? Uh, Jimote says, I recognise Shatner there. Kudos. Good evening to you, Jim. Happy Saturday, my friend. I hope you're keeping well. Chassman is here as well. Good evening to you. Hey, Ember Kerry has subscribed. Many thanks, my dude. Happy Saturday to you. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. Yes, it was a, a bleak attempt at trying to do the Shatner. What's the name of the comedian who does him really well? Oh, I forget his name. He's brilliant, though. Where? Flying in a Mooney. Somewhere. Over. Going. Almost at our destination. Henry Carey says, enjoy my first live flight from Detroit. Cool, dude. Awesome. Scott says, the only downside to the Mooney is that for wide bodies like me, it's a very tight fit. Narrow to help get the speed. Yeah, I hate when they do that. Um, <laughs> Scott, I have a similar complaint. 
Um, there are so many aircraft I would consider. They're too kind of narrow bodied and low. Uh, if my head isn't rubbing against the ceiling, uh, my butt is kind of, uh, you know, trying to squeeze outside of the fuselage. Billy Rope says, favourite plane so far? I'll start. TBM 930, the DA62 and the Cirrus. Uh, all very, very good, Philly. Andrew Bonica's here. He says, Jim Carrey. No, it wasn't Jim. It was another guy. Oh, I forget his name. Oh, that's so annoying. What's his name? Ah, Kevin Pollock. You guys got to check out Kevin Pollock. He does amazing, amazing William Shatner uh, voiceovers. Ed Reese says, it would be so nice to get 100 likes for the stream. Ed, I agree and I approve. <laughs> Ronnie Woods asks, what's your FPS? Uh, currently getting 60. 60, which is uh, always nice to get. Now I have to, I did work on my settings an awful lot. So if you guys aren't, uh, you know, if you're not convinced how good the sim looks, the way settings are, I can tell you, you don't need to run it on ultra to make it look ultra. If you know what I mean. Would you consider it looks nice? In your own humblest of opinions, is what you're seeing on the screen, does it look nice? Not too shabby. So this isn't, uh, it's, it's not really on Ultra anymore. I've turned down an awful lot of things. Some things are on Ultra, um, but the likes of the, you know, world rendering and uh, texture rendering and all that, they're down all the notch. Toyota Superboy says hello from me and Master Gamer. Hello, Toyota Superboy and Master Gamer. John Fiora says, I'm on low end. It still looks okay. Not great, but okay. Sweet. It just looks awesome.
energize. <laughs> Master Gamer says, will you be streaming tomorrow? No, nope. gonna have a day off tomorrow. Tarvu says, will you show us your settings one day? Sure. Josh says, I bought this plane today and the GPS switch is off mid-flight as well as the interior lights, can't get them back on. Oh. Um, Colonel Fork, I didn't update my barometric pressure, uh, but I'm reading 2992, and the only reason that's happening is because I turned off the live weather. So it looks like we're climbing again. Ian Lambert says, there, there's been no, there's always one moment. That means it wasn't a proper two-tone Murphy stream. Give it time. So we're going to be making a right turn shortly. And we're going to head over to Sligo. That is our short landing. We'll get down to Sligo. Then we're going to take off again. And just head back down to Knock. Shameless plug time. If you guys are new here, we're over on Discord. If you guys need any help, if you want to share some of your flights in pictures or videos or technical support, if you need it, uh, we've enough members over there now who can pretty much help you guys out of any real trouble when it comes to Microsoft Flight Sim or indeed X Plane. If you're new here, you might consider liking the channel, subscribing, or if you're watching over on Twitch. Sure, give us an L follow if you like. The normal schedule, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, both here on YouTube and on Twitch, simultaneously at the same time in unison, together. We use science. Naffer says, is the next stop the last stop? No, the next stop is Sligo, uh, and then it's only going to be a quick flight then down to Knock. So the next airport, if you guys want to join in, Echo India, Sierra Gulf. Just make sure you're not using any third-party liveries or custom liveries or skins for your airplanes. Make sure everything is the official Microsoft ones. Otherwise, it breaks my stream. Uh, well, we sim. It is a known bug. There is a workaround. Uh, I haven't got around to it because, I, well, to be honest, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I can build a repository to have various codes in it uh, but I don't want to do it without the help of a Sobo probably because I'll break it now we'll keep going straight for another minute or two Philip Breed says, I'm so slow in the 172. It was a bad choice. Ed Reed says, and Captain gets irritated. The last thing you want is an irritated Captain. Hello, 
Hello, brother from another mother. We've got another movie. Okay, right turn, new heading. It's going to be 080. Current speed is, we're still holding 150 knots, indicated. Ivan says, apologies, I take it you're not a Father Ted fan. Uh, I am. But we're on a tight schedule this evening. Andrew Bonica says, was this an impromptu stream, Murph? Uh, yes, it was. Joe Schultz is here, just tuning in. How are the avionics on the plane? Very, are they fairly easy to use and working properly? Uh, yes, they're fairly easy to use. They're working properly, except for the nav mode. So if you're flying in GPS with the nav mode, it will follow the heading, but it tends to slalom up and down of the magenta line. They have the same issue with the 182. They can't fix it, and uh, there will be a patch. So yeah, it's all good. Sorted Cannon 216 is here. Good evening and happy Saturday, my dude. Antibiotica says good, so I don't feel as bad for being late. <laughs> Keen says, can you go through the autopilot? Uh, well, it depends on the aircraft, but on this one, your autopilot, this is the main panel here. So with autopilot, there's a couple of things. If you want to use your autopilot, you got to tell your CDI, are you going GPS? Or if you're going to use VLOC. If it's GPS, it'll go against a magenta line if you have a flight already planned. Um, you would then have to select your navigation mode to either follow your GPS or indeed if you turn your VLOC or your nav mode, if you tune in these radios to find a VOR and you hit nav mode on VLOC, it'll follow the VOR and it'll kind of populate these guys here. It'll give you an indication uh, what VOR station you're flying towards. You also have a heading hold switch, so your heading on this aircraft is this little guy here. You want to make sure that that's all zeroed and working. So you can move your heading indicator, this yellow dude. If you move that whilst having your heading mode turned on, the aircraft will roll until it meets that heading. Then you have your autopilot master switch. It won't work unless that's turned on. Flight director gives you a little director of an airplane here on your attitude indicator or artificial horizon. Basically the blue represents the sky, the brown represents the ground. You have various degrees for pitch and roll. Your altitude hold switch on this aircraft is controlled by both here and here in which you can operate your v-speeds up or down. We'll go back to our altitude on this guy because we already have 3,000 feet set in. So far, so good. Andrew Bonica says, this sim is dangerous. It now has me looking at aircraft for sale and possibly moving to an air park. Well, the only thing is, it's 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 one thing to be in a club uh, whereby lots of you can... Like, airplanes are relatively cheap, um, especially the older kind of GA ones from the 60s and 70s. You can pick them up from anywhere from like 20,000 up to 100 and odd thousand. So they're kind of like 
the price of a car. The issue isn't buying the aircraft, the issue is the cost of running the aircraft. You have maintenance, you have insurance, you've got to put it in a hangar. They have to get various inspections done throughout the year, it needs its airworthiness certificate. Uh, that's where the cost comes in. <laughs> King says, a GAA airplane. Black Rabbit says airport code, so the next one is going to be Echo India, Sierra Gulf. As we make our way here towards Sligo Airport. I wonder does this guy work? Yes it does! <laughs> Jim Oates says, very, impress very impressed Mr. Murph, uh, as you seem to know how to fly all these aircraft nicely, or are you just bluffing it mate? <laughs> no comment Jim. That is awesome looking. <laughs> that extra 330, all sorts of hell just broke loose. Okay guys, slight right turn here, heading 090, it's pretty much going to be a straight in approach into Sligo, so we'll do our usual madness, uh, if you allow me to land first so I can park up, uh, and then we'll have a bit of fun looking at the landings coming in. Well, Adams is here, he says, how do I join the flight? Make sure your multiplayer settings are there on all players, and you're on the North Europe server.
There's a conspiracy afoot. Philippreen says, hey Jim, maybe all those game crashes are Murphy googling how to fly. <laughs> You could be onto something there, guys. Joel Edwards says, have you a favorite plane? Uh Well, before this one, uh, I really like the Savage Cub. I love the Cessna 172, uh, but this one is right up there. I absolutely adore the Mooney. Joan says, his wife is off camera doing the flying. <laughs> I just got an achievement. Hydroplaning. Achieve 50 hours of hand flying. Let's have a now look here, shall we? New heading one zero zero. <laughs> Philip, if that was only true. Basically your PPL done mate. Uh, pretty much jam, yeah. That's uh, 50 hours. There we go, I've earned me stripes. Or me wings. Airport in sight. Ketro is here, good evening to you. Mi salute. Joel asks, uh, do you fly any of the commercial jets or do you prefer the small pistons and turboprops? Uh, over in Microsoft Flight Sim, I love the GA aircraft. X-Plane, I, yeah, a bit of both. I don't mind the, uh, <laughs> I don't mind the, uh, the big commercial planes. I love flying the 737, the Zebo mod. I also love the IXEG 737. That was some really nice flying. Okay, so there's always one. <laughs> Airport code is Echo India Sierra Golf. Ryan Tanner is here. He says, Good evening, happy Saturday to all. Hello, Ryan, happy Saturday to you, my friend. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage says I'll be getting my flight stuff tomorrow. Nice.
Hey. Your door is open. <laughs> Okay, Neffert says, so, would you rather get Mrs. Murphy her fitted kitchen or get yourself a graphics card? <laughs> Answer this one very carefully. Um, well, we do have a fitted kitchen. Now, Mrs. Two-Tone mightn't necessarily approve of said fitted kitchen, but it's a fitted kitchen nonetheless. But, uh, you know, I'm going to wait until I see what the, uh, the 3090 can do. Once we see enough reviews and see, is it going to be actually worth the investment? Certainly the 3080 would be a superior card over the 2080 Ti that I have. Uh, but we'll see. Plus we have AMD stuff to consider as well. Stuart says, I'll feed back on the 3080. Do that, do. I've seen a couple of videos already, Stuart, but, uh... Okay. The aircraft is possessed. But that's okay. We'll figure it all out. Uh, lights turned off as well. Scott says, they have announced that there is a 3080 with a 20 gig coming out. Whoa. Gop Slayer is here. Good evening to you, Gop. Happy Saturday, my dude. UK Base says, Evening Murph and all would have joined uh, Osada. UK Bay, how is the scenery building going, my dude? Okay, autopilot coming off. I'm going to do a landing here first, guys. If you guys just want to circle the airfield, I'll let you know then when we're good to go for the landings. Oh, the speed brakes definitely work on this thing.
A hundred percent they work. <laughs> We're landing at Sligo, Echo India, Sierra Gulf. We look over here on the left hand side, that big mountain over there, that's called Ben Bulban. Uh, the Sims not really doing it justice, it's a beautiful neck of the woods, it's all Yates country. That's a warning uh, when you don't have your gear down. So we'll uh, add our spoilers on here again. Landing gear coming down. That'll add a bit of drag here as well. Our face cam coming on for the dramatic effect. About one notch of flaps here as well. This is a sporty approach, Murph. I do like Sligo Airport. Okay, so flaps are fully set. Watch our speed as we approach. Do our best to aim for the center line here on runway 11. And touchdown. Manual braking, flaps coming back in. We won't make that exit. <laughs> Little bit of an overshoot, but that's okay. Alright guys, give us a second. We fly around here, just to get off the runway. And uh, watch you wonderful people make your entry. Okay, that'll do us. Uh, now, let's see if I can turn stuff off here. Uh, we have a little bit of chop. I suppose the main thing to do is just turn off our avionics. Got our mixture back. Got our battery. So, let's hope it doesn't all break and smash and do terrible things. So, we're going to traffic. And turn on our nameplates. Apply and save. Go back. This is alive. So, we're going to go this direction. Bear with me now. Turn up the speed on our little gadget here. Okay, guys, the runway is open. And where have we got this other stuff? Hiding away in the distance. And uh, this one. Okay, we're looking for butter. Now we'll go back a bit. Here comes Piat 691 on approach in the King Air. <laughs> Nicely done. Hide me of it. Nicely done, Pat. Uh, blow up. Rip. <laughs> Jerry B says, are there still problems with custom liveries on multiplayer? Yes, there are still problems. Here comes Tarvid. Oh yeah, that was butter. Nicely done, my dude. Bonus points for the Mooney. BG Smalls, it's Echo India, Sierra Golf. Here comes Grolly and blow up. Grolly is down. Blow up is going for a go around. Colonel Fork is inbound. Nicely done, Colonel. 
smooth as silk. Bonded prawn <laughs> in the TBM. Oh, Sligo. Here comes Gustav. And Fugus coming in. The DA. And the Cirrus. 9 out of 10 grams of butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Butter. MX Nutter and Astro inbound. Nicely done. Triangle coming in. In a TBN. Little bit of a bounce, but that's okay. You made it. Blow up is going to try again. <laughs> You can do it! <laughs> Eek! <laughs> Philip Reen! E down! Here comes six knots! In a bonanza. Bit of a bounce. But that's okay. We're down. Black Eyes Gabe, nicely done, my dude. Butt tip. Oh, that looks nice. Beautiful landing. Oh, that's butter. Bionic Phil. Looking nice as well. Stuart Payne floats in behind him. Nicely done, Stuart. Batting bike rules. Nice landing. Jan Fjord is inbound. The epic flare. Welcome to Sligo, my dude. Lowell comes in again. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's okay, dude. It happens to the best of us. Blown Tapestry is down. Look over the speed ramp. Merlin Flyer is inbound. In the grandest of caravans. Oh, this is looking nice. Very nice. Merlin Flyer, I can't believe it's not butter. Butter. Kate Lambert says, cue the shameless plug. Don't mind if I do. I knew there was one left. <laughs> Here comes Jet Tag. Have you got landing gear down, dude? Yes, you have. Fergal is 10 miles out. That's okay, Fergal. We'll hang on for you. I don't think Sligo's ever seen so many planes all at once.
Scott Voigt says it's dinner time. Kane Lafford. I just realized what time it was. On that note, I'm off. Have a safe flight, guys. Many thanks, Kane. Here comes Lunar Orbit. It's looking good. Nicely done. Welcome to Sligo. Spirit says Murph, you've got so many airmen now, we'll have to address you as Air Marshal Tutone. <laughs> John says, How do I join? If you go into the flight plan uh, at the very start when you just go into the sim, open the map, make sure you're on the all players under the multiplayer heading. It's up uh, under the weather options. And manually change the server to North Europe. Uh, if, if you click on your username up in the top right hand corner, you can select the server. Fergal says, runway in sight. Don't worry Fergal, we're hanging on for you. Fergal out there somewhere. says cheers for the fun evening catch you again soon do take care peter many thanks for joining us here tonight google says no social distancing in sligo tonight sure Payne says well guys and gals thanks for letting me tag along have a great weekend you take care Stuart. many thanks as always my dude and uh, i hope you enjoy the mooney As is someone still inbound, we're just waiting on one. We got one dude left. Hey, good morning. Many thanks, Lightsphere, for the subscribe. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Trigger says, so the Mooney doesn't break the sim because it came through the marketplace. Uh, it, that would appear to be correct. For whatever reason. Hey, good morning. Justin Mercer has subscribed. Many thanks, my dude. We have a plane inbound. He was the final plane. Hey, good morning. 
He was there and now he's not there. <laughs> Best bit Walker, many thanks for the follow, my dude. Virgil says GPS died. Uh, that's okay, you still on the way in? <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> Colonel is going out to have a closer look. We're in the grass. There we go. On bingo fuel. Can he make it? The approach is good. It's looking nice. On the center line. I can't believe it's not butter butter. <laughs> and he's down. The colonel is going to line up. We're going to get this show on the road. Relatively soon. Cool. First time I was in this plane uh, was Flight Sim 98, says Lewis. Whoa. Awesome, my dude. Okay, we're back. Rick Rand says, been enjoying the streams, lad. Keep up the good work. Slancha. Many thanks, Rick. Uh, Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. Hang on, we'll give you a, a hand. I've been dying to dance to that and I'm, I'm just not going to. <laughs> okay, so we're going to explain a couple of things here just before we get airborne on the next flight. So, if you're hanging around, give us five minutes, we go through all of this. Um... Briefly, I'll show you my options, shall I? Really briefly. Put the camera off. Uh, many thanks, Lewis, for the subscribe. So, graphics, display mode. This, this is my settings, and this is how everything is working on my machine. Now, my specs are going up in the chat. So, bear that in mind. So, display mode, I have it on windowed resolution. Vertical sync, I have it turned on and locked at 60. Render scaling at 120. Anti aliasing on TAA. Terrain level of detail 150, terrain vector ultra, buildings ultra, trees and grass on high, uh, objects level of detail 150, volumetric clouds high, texture resolution high, uh, anisotropic filtering on 16, super sampling on 8x8, texture synthesis on high, water waves on high, shadow maps 74 or 768, terrain shadows 2048. Contact shadows are high, windshield effects are on ultra, ambient occlusion high, reflections ultra, light shafts on high, bloom on, depth of field high, lens correction and lens flare are both on, use generic plane models for AI traffic on, use generic plane models for multiplayer off, that's so I can see what you're flying, and then the glass cockpit refresh rate on high. So that's what I have. Also, if you guys are asking the other day in relation to data, if you want to have a look at the manual cache, I have some. So you need to make a new cache, you select the location, you tell it how much space you want, and then you can go ahead and make it. So, for example, little old Ireland. See the way it's highlighted? I mapped all that out myself. And if I want to do a new region, uh, I'll show you how to do that. If you look at Ireland, it only takes up less than a megabyte to download all that information because Ireland, of course, is 99.999% autogen. Uh, the, you know, the satellite imagery is already there, unless, of course, they update it. So if you wanted to pick a new region, let's go into the Isle of Man here. Zoom in until you see a grid. So you go to cache new region. So zoom in until you see a grid. So there's no grid. Now there's a grid. You literally grab it the right button on your mouse 
highlight the area, it'll select it. Depending on the scenery, it'll tell you the cache quality is low, medium, or high. Uh, if you want to unselect it, uh, how do we do this again? Oh, look, it says here, remove, hold control, and paint. So you can create it and then remove it. If you want to, if you want to pick somewhere that has, uh, let's say, cityscapes. Um, so a lot of the stuff over in the US or even London, I think, is that photogrammetry? Highlight London? No. Uh, some of that has like the cityscape, the photogrammetry stuff. Um, Paris, I imagine, has. Let it load in. So we highlight Paris. Oh. Okay, Murph. Uh, we're struggling here. <laughs> surely, surely America has some sort of coverage. Uh, how's your rail navigation in? Ah, okay. If we zoom in here, I wonder will they show it? No, I've already done that. Uh, let's go down to Miami. But yeah, it takes the map a couple of minutes to load in. But say, for example, if I wanted to select this area, which is uh, pretty much kind of Miami and Florida, and if you highlight the area, if you notice, that's a different colour. And if I want to select up here, or over here, uh, that's probably not a great idea what I'm showing you, but it is a different colour. So depending on, it'll give you, there's different layers of quality. And once you cache them areas, they're saved onto your hard drive, and it just means then when you go to launch the sim, uh, you're not rendering all the information again. So that's really, really handy. Zoom in more, then it'll show high quality tiles. Ah, you see. Yeah, probably. You've got to zoom in right more to see uh, the better quality tiles. So that's all there, which is really handy. So we're going to click back. Now, to help out for the multiplayer. So this is your home screen. You click on world map. Uh, so our next flight, we're going to take off here from uh, Sligo. So when you select your aircraft, you can go, here's your aircraft. You can pick whatever aircraft you want. Select the different liveries. Weight and balance uh, just for your fuel. Failures, I don't go near. ATC options, if you type in here, you can go do a custom tail number. Just make sure you populate both of them. If you know where the airport is, oh, look at the mess. If you know where the airport is, uh, just click on it. If not, type it up here. So, for example, this is going to be Echo India Sierra Golf, Sligo. Click on Sligo. You have a drop-down menu here. This is important. If you don't want to spawn on the runway with the engines already running, select Parking. Okay, so once you select parking, that's going to be your departure. Your arrival then is going to be into Knock, Connacht as it is. So that's already saved. If you want to add somewhere else, another point of interest, for example, if you want to say, do you know, I want to head over to uh, Cork. No, I want to head to Dublin. You have two ways. You can go over to Dublin and find Dublin, click on it and select Add. And it'll add Dublin. Uh, many thanks, Chris, for the follow. To unadd it, click it again and go remove. Uh, but you also have a search bar over here. So if we were to type in Dublin over here, it'll find it. And it gives you the same options. Just click add. So it'll now add that to your flight plan, which is really handy. So you can just reset that. Anyway, so once you know where you're taking off from, uh, we'll go back here to Sligo. Uh, you can zoom in all the way either and just pick like parking. So we're going to say uh, there, set as departure. For the multiplayer options, over here is where you go. So you go to your flight conditions. The first option, multiplayer. You have live players, which means everything is locked to live mode. That's going to be live weather, live time. They're, they most definitely will be flying by the real world procedures. And that's, you know, the most realistic way you can use Microsoft Flight Sim. All players is what we do. Or you can go for a group-only flight. Now, the problem with the group-only flight, it's limited to a maximum number of six at the moment. Now, there, you know, there's talk that they're going to increase it, but at the moment, there's only six. So we select all players. For air traffic, I turn it off only because it'll confuse you. You don't want AI and you don't want live traffic. Live traffic is where the sim is reading the real-world data of aircraft that are actually flying. So if you're flying, you know, offline, 
turn on live traffic it's cool because you can see all the different aircraft and if you're flying at an airport and go onto a website I think it's called liveatc.com you can actually tune your browser into the actual uh, frequencies of that tower or, or, or the ATC and you can listen in real time while you're looking at the planes like it's nuts it's so cool so you could be flying in your plane you actually have the actual actual <laughs> ATC in the background you're listening to it uh, and you can see the planes in the sim it's fantastic uh, weather and time if it's on live it locks your ability to change the time of day and the weather if you go to preset well you can kind of manipulate the bejani out of this you can go live weather clear skies whatever kind of you want and you can change the time if you go to custom it's the same so you can select from a preset uh, you can change the time and all these wonderful things the last thing you need to do is where your username is up in the top right hand corner this is important click on this it'll show your status first and foremost if you have like a whole load of friends and you want to do an offline flight just tell them you're offline or you're busy or you're away or whatever uh, if not you're online the server most of the time it's going to be set automatic all right and the this here is a ping it's basically telling you the distance uh or latency you have from a server now i have to say you know i've flown on us servers from ireland and there there is no latency there's no lag it's grand you know it all works um but when you want to fly with us i tend to fly on the north europe server so you just select north europe when you select north europe it'll appear here uh, then you click back or just click off that screen back to your airport and click fly as soon as you hit fly you'll appear and you will see the other aircraft one last thing to check out if you want to see nameplates or you don't want to see uh, see nameplates you can do this in the sim as well if you go into options general and go down to traffic in traffic you have aviation traffic so you can say well it's off because we've turned off the ai and we've also turned off the um uh, the real world air traffic and uh, so it's off at the minute if you just use ai well then you can control how many airlines you want to see and how much ga traffic you want to see so you can manually adjust them they're just like the old sliders and they'll populate all your airports and put up pretend flights and all over the shop uh, so we leave that off show traffic nameplates this will put the name above the other planes that you see so sometimes it's handy but it depends like when we're doing our flights it's great for the landing so we can see who's landing but otherwise it, it just it it kind of just it it yeah <laughs> it looks terrible uh, so i tend to fly with that off and then when i land uh, i turn it back on again and i think that's kind of it your flight model make sure it's set to modern uh, a glitch people were having they're saying man the physics is so bad just make sure it's on modern otherwise you go back to the legacy uh, and we don't want to do that keep it on modern uh, miscellaneous for miscellaneous things you also have pilot avatars here this is you may not know this so uh, tonight is the night we're learning things uh, so the pilot avatar this is what you're going to be represented uh, in the generic or stock aircraft obviously not uh, Caronado because well they make their own pilots um, but you can change what your pilot looks like and with the latest patch they've updated that because the voices change depending on the avatar which you pick uh, so there's a number of them there there's like 20 or something so there's a number of different models and you can put them in different clothes and i'm only waiting for people to mod the hoot and nanny out of that uh co-pilot avatar that'll be obviously the person sitting next to you again you can change them and your instructor so if you're doing any of the training missions that's what your instructor will your instructor rather will look like uh when they're sat beside you in the exterior view Jones Barricus and Foot Massage says there are no planes at Sligo. Uh, well, there should be. Are you? Can you confirm you're on the right server and that you've selected all players? Uh, so that's it for that option. Uh, apply and save, I suppose. I hope it didn't break anything. So now I need to go to quit the desktop because I tend to restart my sim every time I do this, just to keep it all working right, as we do. So I hope that all makes perfect good sense to you people. <laughs> and if it doesn't, that well, we tried. Ah. Okay, give it a few minutes, Jones. Sometimes depending on your internet, 
Um, it might take a few minutes for the aircraft to appear. Toyota Super says, is this the end of the stream? No, we have just one flight left, uh, and it won't be terribly long either. <laughs> yeah, try restart, Jones, that should help. So we're just letting the sim boot up here in the background. And again, a big thanks to uh, Six Knots there tonight. He let us know that if you press down the Alt GR key and click on some of your instruments, uh, it'll actually enlarge them and pop them out, which is super handy. You can move them onto a different screen or just keep them somewhere else. Mark Pendleton is here. Good evening. Happy Saturday, my dude. Celtic music for relaxation. <laughs> it's all part of the service. Owen593 is here. He says hi. Hello, Owen. Happy Saturday to you as well, my dude. I want to try this, look. Oh, look, it works in here as well. So if you're new to the channel, and if you like what you see, don't forget you can like, follow, or subscribe. You know, you know, or don't. It's entirely up to you. Uh, so, how do I hide that? Hide that. Scott says, thanks for streaming tonight, need to run, and a great service it is, mate. Scott, you take care out there. Many thanks as always for stopping by, and we'll see you again soon. Okay, so I'm just going to set up my sim. It's always nice music, isn't it? <laughs> Gary says, I love these streams. Many thanks, Gary. You're very welcome along, my dude. So, time of day is going to be about 17.39. Uh, live weather, why not? And that all appears to be okay. Famous last words, of course. Now, guys, just remember, if you're joining us here for the multiplayer, it's imperative that you don't use custom liveries or custom aircraft. Anything that comes out of the sim, be it from the marketplace or stock, is fine. Uh, but any of the other, um, anything else, it'll just break my stream. I don't know why it does it, it, just, it breaks it. So I'd ask you, stick to the stock, please. Gabriel Lynn says, yourself and Gripper, two of the best channels. And I'm not just saying that because you're Irish. <laughs> well, many thanks, my dude. Uh, so, bit of music for our last flight of the evening. Again, a big shout out to Mark O'Gorman. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday to Mark. Cheers, Slancha, and here's to good health, my friend. Aviation 737 is here. How's it going?
Okay. All right, guys. I need to refill my little cup on here. So I'll be with you in a jiffy. Hello, we're back. All players, air traffic off. Jones, did you select the North Europe server? Uh, Regal's 11A appears to be in a custom livery. Guys, we can't be in custom liveries because my machine will just stop. <laughs> so if you wouldn't mind, please change. Quick. Okay, so battery and alternator on. Uh, fuel tank's okay. Nav and beacon on. Uh, if there's someone in a custom livery, please switch it off. Seems to be okay. Uh, fuel pump. That's good. Gonna prop in. Hydro yoke. Clear prop. 
Go start the engine. Go ahead and turn our avionics on. Get some lights here as well. <laughs> and that says Sligo Aero Club represented. Indeed they are. Flight director can go on. Uh, we're going to set for 2,000 feet. Go ahead and arm that. Uh, that gave a loud bang. What was that? Taxi and recognition lights can come on now as well. Uh, cool. Time to get buggy in. Uh, I'm not going to taxi out onto the runway, so we're just going to go on the grass. Uh, yeah. It's okay, they just cut the grass. It's all sound. Uh, Whiskey River 99 is here. Hey Murph, hey Whiskey River, how's it going my dude? Happy Saturday to you. Abraham Lincoln is here, how did you get the plane? It's available on the, or in the in-game marketplace. Uh, it's an add-on airplane, a payware airplane. Mike Callis says, took some lessons out of Sligo in a 152. Finished them in Barton in Manchester. Nice dude. Right, you guys waiting to take off. Uh, off you go. <laughs> Let's get airborne. You can circle around. We're going to do a left-hand traffic pattern. So when you take off, turn left 90 degrees, and then left 90 degrees, and then left 90 degrees. Uh, Whiskey says, I bought the M20 this morning. Love the plane. We can't really fly it because the avionics keep shutting off. I think that's like a server issue. But it is a bit of a bummer. I agree. Oh dear, <laughs> there's an upside down plane. Right guys, better when you are. Nice, got a couple of TBMs sitting out here as well. <laughs> There's a lot of planes here. Tom asks, how much is the aircraft? I think it's about like 30 bucks, give or take. I hope that is an actual Bonanza in the orange livery, because if that's a custom livery, this is going to crash. <laughs> Alright guys, don't be shy. Let's get out of here. One notch of flaps. Lights check, cameras check, and we're good to go. Airspeed alive. Sixty knots. There's eighty and rotate. This thing is a machine, so just climb positive rate. Gear coming in. Go ahead, bring our flaps in here as well.
altimeter was a bit slow to react. As we're flying over Salego Town. Get our aircraft trim here as best we can. We're only heading for 2,000 feet. Uh, the server's acting up a little bit, but that's okay. There'll be some gremlins. <laughs> but let's hope it's okay. Uh, the, the gear lever looks like uh, the one off caster, one of the casters off my bed. Yeah. <laughs> Master Gamer says, I have an idea. What if you put the co pilot in charge and put the drone in the passenger seat so you would technically be a passenger? Yeah, that should work. So we're coming up on 2,000 feet. Bring our speed right back here. So it's going to be a left-hand turn, 90 degrees. I'm getting a lot of chop. Uh, heading is 030. That's kind of annoying. I don't know what's happening. We'll stay flying. We'll circle around the area for a while. Another left turn coming, 90 degrees. Kind of annoying. Stay there, you devil. Marty's here. Hello, Marty. KPC is here. Is this live? Yes, this is live. We have Sligo here in the background. This is the Carinado Mooney M20R Ovation.
John's Barbecue says he's so annoyed. Not sure what the problem is, Jones. If you want to hit us up on Discord, send me a message. And I'll see if I can dial into your machine to get your settings working right. BG Small says, can you recommend the plane or should I wait for the updates? I recommend it. Like, the update's usually a week or two after the release. Another left turn, 90 degrees. Hey, good Mr. Green Dragon 3 has just subscribed. Many thanks, my dude. Happy Saturday to you. That's weird why it does that. Anyway, another left turn, 90 degrees. I think with the lights and avionics acting up, it is definitely a server issue, so. It is what it is. They'll fix it, don't worry. Don't forget guys, this sim is still very much in its infancy, like it's what, it's... It's out just about a month. We've already had two patches in a month. Mr. Green Dragon says, congrats on a great stream. Many thanks, my dude. That's <laughs> super annoying, all these switches keep turning off. The plane is possessed. Banana Banana. I'm super interested in this, but would I enjoy it with a keyboard, mouse, and an Xbox controller? Yeah, I think you will. Even if you just want to explore different places on the planet, uh, because you can pretty much explore anywhere on the planet. It's awesome. Dylan Halpin is here. How's it going, Dylan? Happy Saturday, my dude. All is good. 
Timothy John Telfair has subscribed. Many thanks, Timothy. Happy Saturday to you, my dude. Our diamond DA62 just ahead of us. Jam says, can't see anyone on the ground at Sligo. Seemingly, Queen Maeve is buried up here. It's just kind of Strand Hill near Colooney here in Sligo. I think Colooney is down under the plane at the minute, and then you Strand Hill. Okay, Jones, to try and troubleshoot this, can you verify if the real world weather works? And also, if you were to select live aircraft, as in not AI, but uh, real world traffic, are, are they working? And also, double check the server because there's also a West and an East, I think, Europe server. It's got to be North Europe. Interesting. Okay, another left 90 degrees. Rose in with the fun facts. It says, fun fact, Murph. Coney Island, New York is named after Coney Island just off Strand Hill Airport. Cool. Jim Oates says, could you imagine if you had this on a voice chat so you could direct everyone over the air, so to speak? Uh, they are working on it. I was going to start, I was going to try and develop kind of like a team speak for Inside the Sim. Um, and when I started asking questions, they were kind of like, don't worry about it, we're on it. This lake over here is called, uh, I think it's Glen Carr Lake. There's a beautiful waterfall up here as well. Absolutely stunning. Okay, another left turn, 90 degrees.
as we fly around Ben Bulban. James has got to go. Have a great rest of the flight and see you all again soon. Take it easy, Jim. Many thanks for joining us tonight, my dude. <laughs> it's all crazy. My next caster, Kate Milafalcha. Okay, guys, we're going to resume our course here down to Knock. Guy Allen has just subscribed. Many thanks, Alan. Happy Saturday to you, dude. Or Sunday now. Holy crap, it's Sunday. <laughs> Jess yeah, so says, so many people. Should be a record. By the way, I am really running this X Cub. Yeah, the X Cub is sweet, dude. So, uh, yeah, this is what the autopilot likes to do. It likes to kind of meander along the magenta line, but it's okay.
Gabriel Dillon says, Best two nights of crack I've had in a long time. So much better joining in, even though I'm not great at the elf flying Yogi Me Bob. <laughs> Ned says, Fun fact, the hill ahead used to be the mark or used to be used to mark the boundary between Sligo and Knock Airspace. Cool. So guys, we learned something tonight, thanks to six knots. If you press the Alt-GR button, which should be on the right-hand side of your keyboard, and if you go to some of your instruments, when you press Alt-GR, the icon will change on your mouse, and when you click it, it'll actually pop out the other display. Real handy. Joe Blow says, Night Two-Tone, great watching, or great time watching. Many thanks, Joe. Many thanks for tuning in, my friend. We'll see you the next time. Oh dear, there goes someone. Scotty Bob 64 says hello, hope you're well. Is this the new Caronado Ovation? How do you like it? How's it going, Scotty Bob? It goes well, my dude. And this plane is very good. One of my favorites from X-Plane 11. It's now becoming one of my favorites here on Microsoft Flight Sim. It's a good looking plane, the old Mooney. It absolutely is. Okay guys, so the deal is, I'm gonna land first get myself set up and then our plan is going to be we'll watch you all come in for a landing says Mike Pence's family hail from where you're flying over now cool uh, we're just over knock in Mayo
<laughs> Not extra, though. <laughs> okay, we're going to be making a right turn. There he goes. We're going to make a right turn shortly. Uh, no release date just yet, Master Gamer, for the Xbox One release. Um, as far as I know, it's going to be before Christmas, though. Okay, so the airport should be out in that neck of the woods. Make sure all our lights are turned on and behaving themselves, which they are. Autopilot coming off. There's our switch making noises again. <laughs> okay, everything's behaving itself. Need them on. Need them on. Need to go to our right tanks. This is going to be uh, a little bit challenging. We're blinded by the sun. Does that help? Uh, not really. <laughs> And there is a runway out here somewhere. There it is. Come on, Murph. Oh, we have speed brakes in this. Face cam on for a dramatic effect. So, guys, remember, I'm going to land first. Uh, then I can park it up on the ramp and uh, show off all you guys. As we're kind of making a sideways entrance here. Landing gear coming down. Got a notch of flaps going here as well. Keep an eye on our speed. The extra challenge of the sun and the eyes syndrome. Keen Rose, any airports in tip? Uh, there are. Small ones. Roll inverted for the approach. <laughs> Come on, Marf, you can do better than this. Is our middle marker light coming on? As uh, the sim is doing things, turning off some lights and stuff, as it does. As we approach runway 26 here. Gently does it. Keep it on center line. Oh, the sun makes it awkward. Touchdown! <laughs> there are spoilers out here as well. Bit of manual braking. Neville Johnson's here. You're up late, bud. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Bring our flaps back in. Bring our spoilers in. Get ourselves turned around here. Yaki booze on the Betsy. Right, guys, hold fire. Don't land just yet. If you're coming right in, just go around. <laughs> Right, Murph. Murph? Murph. Parking on the grass. And that'll do. Avionics off. We'll just switch everything off quickly. Okay, so we want to go to traffic. Get our labels turned on. Apply. Back and resume. Get this camera turned on.
jump up here. Okay, my dudes. The runway is now open. We make our final approach into Knock Airport. Here comes Bonded Prawn in a TBM. Nicely done, my friend. <laughs> Here comes Cryptic. That was butter. And I mean butter butter. Here comes Pat. Bit of a float. I hold the nose. <laughs> Inbound Colonel Fork. There's the flare. Oh, we're looking good, Colonel. Butterly smooth. I can't believe it's not butter. Butter. As Astro coming in in the 330. Nicely done. I hope they're all in. <laughs> Jim Wolf and Gustavo. Flyboy, that was a hell of a flare. <laughs> Here comes Phil Breen in the Cessna. Bionic Phil coming in behind. Nice, nice. Six knots. Making this one look easy. It's like tennis. Here's Ned. Oh, nicely done. That was uh, butter smooth. Who across inbound? A double landing. <laughs> A glum tapestry. And black rabbit. John Mabel coming in. Oh. Mountain bike rules. Nicely done, fellas. Poor hamster. Bring it in for the float. Very nice. Here's Jerry. Ah, oh, nicely done, my friend. MX Nutter. And Merlin Flyer. Nicely done, my dude. USA Pure One. Six knots. We'll catch you again, my dude. Take it easy out there. Thanks for the advice earlier on tonight, dude. Oh dear. <laughs> Man down. Someone call a medic. US going for the right flank. Here comes Jam and Flyboy. J 
pajamas down. Bit of a bounce. Flyboy's down as well. There sure be a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, some epic landings there, fellas, some epic flights. I love the way it's just like random kind of abandonism of aircraft. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, with that said, it's been another night of crazy flying. Big shout out to Mark O'Gorman who celebrated his birthday. My thanks to everyone here uh, who joined us for multiplayer, guys. That was fantastic fun. Many thanks to all our supporters, all the likes and follows and all the comments we got here in the chat as well. It's been a busy night reading them. <laughs> you keep me up past me bedtime. Uh, but it's all good. <laughs> As Gustavo does the victory lap. Anyway. Our normal service will resume every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 8 o'clock Irish time in the PM. Don't forget, for everything else, we're over on Discord, if you guys want to ramble over there. Uh, if you have any problems or issues with the sim, uh, if you want to share some of your photos or videos, uh, or just kind of come on out and hang out and chat. <laughs> As a plane flew over the screen. Anyway. Many thanks, my dudes, to all the new people who joined us here. For all the not new people. Uh, yeah. Awesome stuff. Thank you all so very much. Go home now. Go to bed. And we'll see you soon. Take care.